You decide to pull an all-nighter. One night becomes two, then a week, a month, no sleep, ever. What happens to your brain, your body, your mind? Let's find out what happens if you never slept again. The first 24 hours? You'll feel tired, sure, but also a little wired. Reaction time slows, mood drops, and your brain starts making tiny errors. At 36 hours, your memory gets foggy. You're more irritable. Your immune system already weakening. By day three, your brain begins to fight itself. You may start micro-sleeping, brief blackouts where your brain shuts down, even if your eyes are open. Your speech slurs, decision-making collapses, you can't focus, and hallucinations? They begin right about now. In 1964, 17-year-old Randy Gardner stayed awake for 11 days. No drugs, just willpower. By day 11, he couldn't form full sentences. He thought he was a football player, even though he wasn't. If you somehow stay awake beyond 10 days, which is nearly impossible, your body goes into full panic. Hormones crash, muscles waste. Your brain may experience REM intrusion, basically dreamlike states while awake. Can you die from no sleep? Technically, yes, there's a rare genetic disorder called fatal familial insomnia, where people slowly lose the ability to sleep and eventually die. No cure, no treatment. So while missing one night won't kill you, total sleep loss eventually can. Sleep isn't just rest, it's maintenance. Your brain clears waste, memories get sorted, muscles repair. Without it, your body literally starts breaking apart from the inside out. So, what if you never slept again? You'd hallucinate, fall apart physically, lose your mind, and then, eventually, your life. Still thinking of pulling an all-nighter? Maybe rethink that. 